Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus, what's shaking, you guys? What's going on? How's it rolling out there, Taurus? I hope everybody's doing well. We're going to do another reading for Taurus. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. If you're coming back to the channel, thank you for your participation and your support. I couldn't do this without you. I wouldn't do this without you because this is for you so y'all you see me doing these cards right here right i don't want to hear any bitching about uh reversals because the cards come out the way that they come out and if you're not reading reversals you're only playing with half the deck taurus so let's just see what these are about all right, I want to preface this whole reading with excuse my hands. This is not dirt under my nail. It is black paint. I've been doing a painting project and uh, I don't take myself too seriously. So I'm not all I'm not all about presentation here. OK, I'm really not about presentation. I just want to read the cards for you guys. And that is what it is. So let's just do this right here, right now. My toes look good, though. <laughs> Had a pedicure the other day. My toes look great, but my hands are all busted up. Didn't want to get that manicure done until I uh, got my painting project finished. So, all right, you guys. All right, Taurus, let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. What does this particular Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards this Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times. Oh, right there. And I'll pull straight from the top. All right, let's do it, Taurus. Let's go. One, two, three. And three. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune to Temperance and the Nine of Wands. That'll make hella sense in just a minute. All right, first card out for you guys is the Two of Cups in reverse to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse to the Eight of Wands the Prince of Cups, and the Tower. All righty. The Seven of Cups, there it is. The Prince of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords in reverse in the center of the reading, the Ace of Cups, Princess of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, the Five of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Wands, the Empress in reverse, and the Moon to strengthen, reverse, and the Four of Wands. All right, all right, all right. We'll take those as well. Take the Queen of Pentacles, and we'll take the Star and the Ace of Wands. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what these are all about. So the Two of Cups in reverse to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Some kind of unviable relationship. Eight of Wands and the Sun. Tell me about this. Tell me about this Two of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about this. The Lovers in reverse and the Empress. Fantastic. All right, Taurus. This is what we got going on right here. This is what we got going on right here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now, before we get started, I want to take care of a little bit of business, all right? I have a book that is called The Ultimate Step-by-Step -Step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. If anyone out there is beginning to awaken to their spiritual giftings, their path, and their purpose, 
this book is for you. It will walk you through the 21 steps of spiritual growth and development according to the major arcana of the tarot. The major arcana of the tarot is the life lessons that are here to guide us through this human experience. The book is available on Amazon and there will be more information at the end of this video. Also, there is a super like button where you guys can throw me a little cash if you're in a position to do so. Um, I am not asking. I have just been told that I need to self-promote more. So I am self-promoting more. <laughs> I'm promoting my book and I'm promoting the opportunity for you to send me a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, a thousand dollars if you want to with the super like button somewhere on this video. I'm not really sure how it works. I just did it. Um, and thank you to the woman who gave me a super like the last reading that I did, the reading before the last that I did. I didn't even realize what that was until YouTube sent it to my bank account. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even really uh, reach out and say anything special. So I want to say thank you to the person who did that because um, I, I apologize because I didn't um, realize what was going on when it happened because this is all new to me. So there you go. All right, what are we doing here, Taurus? What are we doing here? Well, 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 well. Two of Cups in reverse, some kind of unviable relationship. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, that is a waste of your time, okay? It's an unviable relationship and it's a complete and total waste of your time. The lovers in reverse. Lovers in reverse says this is not the trajectory of your life. This is not the frequency that you will be able to attract universal order in. Okay? The, the lover's card is about energetic attraction. It's your little energy over here and their little energy over here. And the two of you come together and boom alchemy right something is created that never existed before something is created out of something that wasn't there before the two of you came together and that's love right whether it's a human or an animal or whatever right love okay the lovers in reverse says that your frequency is misaligned with universal order you are wasting your time in a relationship that is not viable for your future, okay? This could be a work relationship, it could be a love relationship, whatever it is, it's not viable. Eight of Wands says there needs to be some change. There needs to be some change to the sun. There needs to be some change in the direction of happiness, success, and vitality because that's universal order right that's universal order to find the happiness that you need you need to step into your power as the empress three major arcanas right out the box lovers in reverse says that you're not paying attention the sun says there's better the eight of wands says we need to change you need to change taurus to the empress Stand in your power and understand who you are. Point your mind towards what your intuition is telling you and execute because that is your ancient soul trying to lead you, guide you, and point you towards your true north. Okay? The Empress is lesson three of everything. She's made from lesson one and two. The Empress is the dirt of life. Nothing grows without the Empress. Why? Because the Empress understands that what she thinks about comes about. So she's very careful what it is she puts her mind to. She's very careful what it is she believes about herself. And she knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that when she feels movement inside of herself, that is her soul trying to point her in the direction of her best and highest good. And she does not argue. She simply goes. She closes her eyes and feels what her soul is telling her. And she takes all of her elements, earth, water, air, and fire, right? And she points it towards where her soul is guiding her. That's why she's the empress. That's why she's the dirt of life. The Knight of Wands. There needs to be some inspired action on your part taken to understand the value and your power in the empress energy. And then death in reverse comes on top of this. 
and talks about internal purging creates an internal transformation. They need you to purge your misconstrued affinity for a particular person or situation in your life. Okay? The Prince of Cups to the Two of Cups. Prince of Cups to the Two of Cups. This is Taurus trying to make this work. This is Taurus hoping and trying to make this situation work. But what the universe wants you to know is the tower. It's not going to work. You could spend the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years of your life trying to make this relationship work. And ultimately, in the end, it's going to crumble on you because there is no foundation by which to build the life that you want to build. To the, ace of, the Eight of Swords in reverse. It's time to unbox your mind and have a new perspective about what's in your best interest, Taurus. Okay. Seven of Cups. There's Taurus, right? Op options, choices, decisions, holding out, hoping that this relationship can work. To the Hierophant. This is Taurus. This is Taurus having spiritual wisdom like the Empress. Okay, Taurus having spiritual wisdom. This is also Taurus on the surface level tossing around if this is going to be something that they can maintain a commitment with or secure a commitment with. This could very well be a relationship that isn't even in existence yet. This could be a relationship that Taurus is thinking about engaging in, and these cards are telling you don't do it because there is no foundation to build your future upon. This could be a relationship that Taurus is in already, and these cards are telling you don't, don't try to justify staying in this relationship because there's hope that maybe someone can change to, to transform transform or morph into what you need them to be, right? That's the spiritual wisdom of the Hierophant. The Hierophant is saying, be wise about this situation because there is no foundation to build the life that you want to build here. To the five of swords in reverse and let go of a white knuckle mindset on a win at all cost mentality in a win at all cost mentality. Okay, because remember the Prince of Cups and the Two of Cups. This is Taurus hoping that things can get better. And the Five of Swords in reverse says it won't get better because for some reason there is some kind of resentment that has been built up in this situation or will be built up in this situation. The Prince of Pentacles. Same old, same old, over and over again. What this is saying is that this person, this situation, this relationship, this job, this thing is not going to change. It's going to be the same issues over and over and over again. And the Three of Swords comes on top of this in reverse and says, come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain that you harbor in your mind about taking a final step away from this relationship or not engaging in this relationship at all. All right. The Ace of Swords in reverse in the center of the reading. Taurus ain't thinking right. You're not thinking straight, Taurus. You're, 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 you're not sharp in your mind about this particular situation. And the Eight of Wands in reverse says, that as long as you stay in a place that is out of alignment with universal order, everything else in your life kind of comes to a slowdown and a standstill because universal order cannot and will not intervene in your free will. You're either on the train or you're not. The world will tell you all over the place that you can have one foot on both sides. And that is a lie from the devil. It's a lie. It is a lie. You are either all in or all out. And if you're all in, universal order takes place in your life and things become easier. If you're not all in, universal order keeps on trucking with or without you. Okay? All right to the Ace of Cups. But I love them. But I love them. But I love them. This Ace of Cups on the root level is you emotionally maturing. 
okay? It's new emotional growth. This is the Taurus emotionally maturing and realizing Princess of Wands in reverse, that there can't be enough effort put into this situation to make this situation what Taurus wants it to be. Queen of Swords in reverse, denial. Denial about what? Well, denial that this situation can't be what Taurus wants it to be. This is a huge struggle between the flesh and the soul. The soul is telling you this is not where you're supposed to be. But the flesh is telling you, I want this. I want this to work. Maybe something can change. Maybe something can get better. Maybe it just needs some time. Mm -hmm. To the hermit in reverse, right? Withdrawn. Withdrawn from your soul's guidance. Withdrawn from your soul's direction. All right. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse goes right along with that Princess of, of, of Wands in reverse right there, right? Ace of Pentacles in reverse says you can't grow what you need to grow here because the ground is sour. It's the ground is sour to the Five of Cups in reverse. Come to terms and move on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment because... The third party situation that is down here as well is not going to go away. Perhaps the person or the situation that Taurus so badly wants to be right is affected by interference from the other person's side. Perhaps this person needs to be surrounded by friends all the time. Perhaps this person has someone that they run to every time there's some kind of an issue between the two of you. Perhaps this is too many cooks in the kitchen. Maybe you have too many bosses. Maybe you have too many people trying to tell you what to do at work. Perhaps this three of cups in reverse is someone's kids. Perhaps this three of cups in reverse is someone's slobbery dogs, right? I was talking to a guy a while ago and he seemed pretty nice and everything. And then I found out that he had three mastiffs and a bulldog. Hell no, <laughs> not doing that. It's great. I'm a dog lover. Don't get me wrong. I got two dogs and a cat at my feet right now. But, but uh, three mastiffs and a bulldog? I don't fucking think so, okay? So this third-party interference here could be anything. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be so many things. Not just a cheating situation, but maybe it is for you. Nine of cups in reverse. And Taurus doesn't like this. Taurus doesn't like this at all. Whatever this interference is, is preventing Taurus from building what they want to build. To the Two of Cups in reverse. Unviable relationship. There are outside influences that are standing in the way of you building what it is that you want to build here. And the Eight of Wands says change it. Go in a different direction and change it to the Ten of Pentacles and Judgment, making a conscious, cognitive, drop-dead, serious decision to do that internal purging of death in reverse, to stand in your power as the Empress, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's all just feminine energy or masculine energy, and I don't care what you call yourself, guy, girl, or in between, we all express feminine energy and masculine energy, or we just do, okay? So drop dead serious decision, Ten of Pentacles, about how it is you're going to go about building your life, your empire, the Knight of Swords in reverse, because somehow there is deception happening with that third party situation, Knight of Swords in reverse. You're not seeing the truth of a situation to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten in this situation. Perhaps this is saying if you continue to enter into relationships where you think you can change someone, you're just going to continuously repeat the same old cycle over and over again, and you're never going to make any progress in your journey. The Emperor in reverse. Egocentric, self-centered, with only their own best interest at heart. That's the emperor in reverse. It is someone who is out of control of themselves. Three of cups in reverse, and there it is again, okay? 
some kind of interference because the person that Taurus is thinking about getting in a relationship with or is in some kind of relationship, whether it's work, money, career, finance, family, home, re romantic, whatever, all right? The person that Taurus is trying to forge a life with or will try to forge a life with has outside influences that feed this person's need for validation somehow. This person that Taurus is trying to work on or out has other people that give them validation in their life. And that is the making for a disaster in a relationship. The hermit, soul, spirit says, let's do some soul searching and some introspection because your desire to fix this or work on this or make this person wear a pair of shoes that don't fit them, okay, can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. The hermit says, let's do some soul searching and some introspection. Let's sit down and really, really, really have a heart to heart about this to the wheel of fortune so you can understand the direction of your life. So we can institute divine order in your life instead of Taurus forcing something that is not in their best and highest good. The Wheel of Fortune is a huge turning point and when you sit down in your hermit energy and have an out loud conversation like a crazy person with Source, you will come to terms with an understanding that it is in your best interest to vacate this situation so universal order can be employed in your life, in the world. Close this cycle down, right? Don't repeat the same cycle. Don't be the person who is engaging in a relationship with red flags all over the place, but saying, oh, I can change that. I can change that. He'll love me more than he's ever loved anyone, and she'll treat me better than she's ever treated anyone. No, 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 no. You cannot make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. You just can't and your person your situation your lover your boss your friend your kid whatever is the emperor in reverse and they are getting their fulfillment and their validation from some other situation in their life the world card says close down this cycle stop hoping that things will change and execute your own change and that takes you out of a long-standing behavior cycle and puts you into a new phase and a new cycle of your life where divine order can be executed where you can be taken to where it is that you need to go in this life the five of cups loss regret despair disappointment to the four of cups right four of cups is you just like up here contemplating and trying to reevaluate trying to fit everything into the way that you want it to be and the fourth cup is saying take this information that we're trying to give you take the freaking cup so you can understand why this is not in your best interest to the four of swords and come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain, just like that three of swords in reverse, right? He's got the three swords on the walls behind him from the three of swords, because he's the four of swords. He comes out of the three of swords and into the four of swords. This is a place of understanding and surrender, coming to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain that would occur if you don't engage in this relationship or stop engaging in this relationship. Pick up the fourth sword, bring stability to your mindset and push forward to the two of wands in reverse because you can't build your future in this cycle of your life. The magician in reverse and the seven of swords, look, Hold on. The Magician in Reverse to the Seven of Swords. This is manipulation. The Seven of Swords is betrayal, deception, someone trying to get away with something. What is someone trying to get away with? Well, your person as the Emperor in Reverse, male or female, is getting what they need emotionally from other sources. They are. 
okay? I don't know if it's a relationship, workaholic, alcoholic, whatever, drug addict. This person is getting what they should be procuring in this relationship from someone else, whether this is a full-blown relationship or someone that you're thinking about getting with. This person ain't it. Ten of Wands, and it's going to be nothing but a burden and a struggle for you. To the Ten of Swords, and it's painful. Betrayal, deception. We have manipulation, betrayal, deception, betrayal, deception, pain. Ace of Cups in reverse. Because your person is not willing to emotionally grow. Mm -hmm. This is the same old, same old, what they've done their whole everything. Uh huh. Ace of Cups also talks about Taurus's hurt feelings about this situation. To the hangman in reverse. Delays, resistance, and stalling. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Only steals your foundation. To the Seven of Wands. This is someone who's not dealing with something. Mm -hmm. Backing up not dealing with something, fighting something off instead of dealing with it. The nine of wands deals with it, right? To the empress in reverse, um, because you're not dealing with this appropriately in your power from your soul's understanding of things, you ain't doing it right with the empress in reverse. The empress in reverse is someone who is completely vested in their flesh. So is the emperor in reverse, right? Completely vested in their flesh. And if you continue in this, the universe cannot lead you, guide you, and show you the next beautiful phase of your life if you are resistant. The moon, coming to terms. The moon is a struggle between that which we know to be true in our soul and that which we do not want to accept as the truth. And this is the Achilles heel of every single human being because a lot of times what your soul is telling you is not what you want to hear. And that's why the Empress is in reverse right there. What your soul is telling you, you don't want to hear. And because of that, you are in your flesh and not in your soul's understanding. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration, but it can work out. It can work out. We can work on it. We can work it out. We can work it out. Nothing can be worked out until your person stops with a third party situation. And they're not going to stop with the third party situation because they are in their flesh. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is a waste of your time. What's a waste of your time? The Page of Pentacles trying to start something over again here. Either trying to start something over again or trying to start something new with someone who is not part of your path and not part of your purpose. It's a waste of time and it will be a repeat cycle of the same shit that you've had in other relationships in your life. Strength in reverse. And this is your weakness. This is your weakness. This is your weak link. This is your weak point. Thinking that something can be better and it cannot. To the four of wands. Your safety, your stability, the kind of environment that you want to build for yourself. Two of wands in reverse is out of reach in this situation. Two of pentacles. Balance this out. Prioritize your sense of well-being with your soul's direction and your soul's guidance and the path of your best and highest good. Prioritize this. To the alchemist in reverse and the queen of pentacles. You cannot manifest where you are doing what you're doing, the kind of future that you truly, truly desire for yourself. The queen of pentacles, the star, and the ace of wands. There is a better way. If you will step into the wheel of fortune, your path and your purpose will be put on track in the kind of person that you want to have a relationship with will manifest in your life 
Ace of Wands, it's a brand new, new opportunity, new direction. The path and the purpose, the renewal of your life with the star card brings you exactly what you want. You see, this situation is an imposter and it is meant from the other side. And uh, as much as there's rainbows and unicorns and this beautiful spiritual stuff, there is an opposing force on the other side. Read my book. It will explain everything. There is an opposing force on the other side, and that opposing force wants you nothing, wants nothing more than for you to stay in stagnancy. Because if you stay in stagnancy, you never get to ride the wheel. You never get to turn the turn the page and start a new cycle. You never get to to, to have what it is that your soul came here to do. And if you will follow the guidance of this reading, get your own cards read, actually. Thepaththepurpose.org. Do not make decisions off of my general readings or anybody else's. And you can look through the reviews on my website and everybody who has ever had a reading from me will tell you, yeah, the general reading resonated with me, but my own personal reading got down to the nitty gritty details of my personal experience on this planet. You have what it is that you truly, truly desire to create out of this relationship waiting for you on the other side of this relationship. True. Bottom of the deck, the Nine of Wands. Remember I said the Seven of Wands is defensive? The Nine of Wands is offensive. Nine of Wands is like, oh, no, 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 don't bring that shit up in here. I'll hit you with my stick. Do not bring that shit up in here to temperance, right? Straighten yourself out. Find peace in the journey and know with all of yourself, your mind, your emotions, your inspirations, your aspirations, and your sense of well-being. Know that if you will step into universal order, universal order will not disappoint. But back in that moon card, you must come to terms with the fact that what your soul is telling you does not line up with what your flesh wants your life to be. And the choice is yours. You will either repeat shit show after shit show in your life, Taurus, or you will stand up, brush yourself off and say, absolutely fucking not. Yep. 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 Look. The Wheel of Fortune, again, second time. The divinely orchestrated steps of your life. The, the thread to universal order. You are a thread in the tapestry of universal order. And we all need you to recognize that and step into your soul path so you can do what you came here to do. Mm-hmm. 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 When does the wheel take place in your life? Eight of cups in reverse. When you completely and totally abandon this situation. Because the eight of cups in the upright is someone who is understanding that they can't make this eight of cups right here into what it is that they need it to be for their life. So they walk out of the Eight of Cups and straight in to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. This dude is coming to terms with the fact that this is whatever this situation is for him in this card is not viable. In the reverse, it's someone who knows that they need to walk away, but they're not. And the second you turn this Eight of Cups in the upright is the second that the universal order begins to take place in your life. It's the second you close out the old cycle, step into the new cycle. It's the second that the turning point happens. Sit down and do some deep soul searching and introspection, Taurus, because this whole situation, whatever this is for you, is not viable for your future. There you go, Taurus. I hope that helps someone. Hang on just a second and hear all about my book. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience.
You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never ending. You have a purpose. This life experience has meaning and you are important. Your journey on this planet in this lifetime is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.